You thought maybe I'll pick a Fire Emblem game. I don't know. You know. I, to be honest, I haven't really ever considered it seriously, but I suppose it's always something. There's always something out there I could be doing. Why do I always let myself get lost in here? I don't know. Why do I always let myself get lost in here? Because I'm a hoe every time I talk to you. Uh, <laughs> That's fine. More experience. Why not? Might as well do it. You could do Donkey Kong Country co off with Emil because Emil really loves DK. He sure does. Chaga Kong Roy, as they call him. Hey, I've been all the possible outcomes. I'm still playing play it. Yes. What's up, Nintendo Capri Sun? Not much, Bon Jovi21. Hope you're doing alright. I just ran out of magic. Didn't seem to kill either of these. Just have to be careful. Pay attention in this fight because I don't know. Wow, that guy hits pretty hard. He does hit. Jeez, I thought all of the hype behind you was your your explosive death attack, not your regular attack. Oh, I didn't equip the hard hat, did I? I don't think I did. I could use that. There he goes. Get out of that! Get out of that! You don't have enough room for more heals. Have you thought about- oh, should I miss that one? <laughs> I love Fire Emblem FE7. Hey, bro, how are you? Not bad, JDM, November 27th, 1998. Holy crap. I just gained a big level there. Mega offense increases. Definitely not a bad idea. 26 to 35, that's definitely not a bad increase, if I do say so myself. Here, I'll just get the flower again. Or the... <laughs> the butter. The butter. The butt fly. I suppose as long as it happens, I might as well use it. A little low there. Nope, you're not attacking me. We've already been through this. There we go. This is honestly one of my least favorite areas of the game, so I'm all too happy to be through it. Oh, look! It's Ranboob. No, not yet. Not just yet. Need to equip that, yes. Tim, if you're looking for an amazing game for streaming, you should try Tomodachi Life. I watched some of that the other day. I don't remember who it was. But it was fun to watch. I think it was Tom Fox again. Or maybe, I don't know. But it looked interesting. Like, I don't know if I can just put me's that I already have into it or if I have to meet them with the cartridge in. Because if that's the case, I'd have to wait till like the next, you know, con, the next get together. What am I doing? Let's go to the store and get stocked up here, shall we? Let's also meet back tomorrow here, shall we? No, not really. Hello there. Hello there. Oh, I don't, do I? Well, in that case, nope. We will withdraw. Ooh, man, we got some money here. Oh, the music is so creepy. Alright, yes, and yes. Hell yes. Copper bracelet. No, I already have one of those. What am I doing? Oh, no. Well, you know what? I'll save it for Paula. <clears throat> Actually, I don't even know if I can use that on her. Whatever. I think she already has a fry pan. I don't remember. Sure, yeah. What do I want to sell? Well, first of all... No, actually, I'm going to keep that. I think we'll be okay here. Just in case we made her call mom here. <laughs> You don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Mmm, is that right? Nothing. Thank you, come again. I would literally plug my phone into my radio in my car on my way to work and listen to your parodies of Brisbane's Hideout Magmore Caverns on a constant loop. Oh my gosh, dude, that's dedication right there, man. Some crazy ass stuff. 
Even my butt has to agree, doesn't it? Ah! Well, that wasn't much. Can we avoid any unwanted altercations here? No, I guess not. Man. Whatever. Oh yeah, I remember these guys always do 8 damage until you get the armor, then they do like 3 or 2. And it helps so much that they only do 3 or 2. You can add all your Miser scanning QR codes of other things and destroy the fans. Oh, that's true. You can always do that stuff online. You know, I had a dream last night that I was at a con. And, like, this is something that I would never do in real life. Actually, I'm surprised I haven't done it. But, um, I was at a con, and they had, like, this Pokemon Center there where people could go to have Pokemon battles with each other. And, of course, I went there with my Omega Ruby file and started, like, going around seeing who I could find to have a battle with. Eventually, someone tried to pull me into a battle, but I didn't know who it was because all it was was a name on my screen. I couldn't. I looked around, and nobody seemed to be like coming after me or looking at me. So I was just like, "Okay, I guess I'll fight this guy." But then the thought occurs to me, and I don't know if this is true or not, but the thought occurs to me: What if I lose the battle? Is he gonna take my Pokemon away from me? Because what's that gonna do to the Let's Play if I come back and I don't have one of the Pokemon I had before? Which I assume you don't actually lose Pokemon by doing that. But anyway, I didn't know that at the time. And definitely not in the dream. Oh, thanks. Okay. Anyway, so so the battle starts and I pull out Tyson and he pulls out this thing. I don't know what it was. It was like a... I don't think it was an actual existing Pokemon. It was like an aquamarine color, but it was like green mixed with aquamarine. And it looked like it was made of rocks, and it was really big and tall. It was like a tower. I guess it kind of looked like a muck, but it was taller than that. Huh, <sighs> so anyway. So I knew right away, well, this guy must be water, so... Wait a minute. That wouldn't make any sense. Why would I... That's not right at all. Okay, maybe... <laughs> Maybe in my dream everything was backwards, but for some reason I knew that my fire would be good against him. So I used my fire move, knocked off about half of his health, and I was like, okay, we're doing good here. And then he, like, started to do this thing where... Blue Blue, I'm trying to learn how to whistle. <laughs> but then he started, he got this magic ability in the middle of the battle where when I would go to hit him a stone wall would come down in front of him and block my attack just before it hit him. And just at the very end of the battle, I was just about to deliver the death blow to him when that wall came down and blocked my attack, and I was like, oh shit! And after that I woke up, so I'm, <laughs> I'm like, well shit. Do you have any hopes of Mother 3 coming to the west? Yeah, I do, actually. I believe it will happen. I'm not sure when, but I'm thinking... It has to be, like, in the next five years. So we figure, you know, Nintendo's already kind of sort of... Kissy Kissy made up with... Oh shit, you know what? I'm not supposed to be here yet. Well, at least I cleared these guys out, so I won't have to do it next time. <sighs> Sorry, I wasn't looking at the chat. You guys were probably trying to tell me. Talking about that Pokemon's dream, jeez. Thanks for playing my Mario Maker level, but I was trying to ask if it's possible to show the comments when you play the... Oh, and the Joshi's Last Stand, or Joshi's. I probably should have... I remember at some point somebody sent me a level and told me to turn on the comments on it. And I actually wrote on my notes, turn on comments. But maybe that was a different level. So I know... Mm. Oh, sure enough, it's right here on my list, on page four. Apparently I wrote down your level twice. That's why. Sure enough, that's why. Because <laughs> I didn't write down to turn on the comments the first time. That's where I screwed up. I had a dream where I met my favorite Japanese idol and started speaking Japanese to her. That's awesome. 
I've had dreams that I could speak other languages before. It feels really funny too, it's like, wait a minute, I'm just doing this. Come here, crows. Have you considered let's play more of Dragon Warrior? Oh, Dragon Warrior, you mean? I would assume that's what you mean. That's actually not a bad idea. I've kind of thought maybe. Well, I really want to play Dragon Warrior 8. Definitely been interested in doing that for a, quite a while. Nope, I will. Leave the cookie behind for the birds. They got a big bird coming. Oh, I shouldn't have blocked that. That would have been good. That would have been nice and husky. Who? Are you rusty? I'm so glad it's you. These names came from, like, random, like anyone who wasn't here last week. I just randomly looked at names in the chat to pick the names for these people, so... So, uh, so Ness is Rusty, Paul is Joshy or something. I don't remember the other two. And somehow I ended up getting toast for my favorite food. Did I get... Hang on a second. I think I responded something stupid here. Let me pay attention to this. That's not here, you can open the door, you have to get the key from Carpenter, he's not hidden away, I've heard Carpenter can control lightning in that case. So, oh, because I'm, my inventory's full, my bad. I wasn't paying attention to the dialogue like an idiot. So I got your copper bracelet and ribbon, can I just give these to you now? Oh, that's, that's a weird place to start in the dialogue, therefore I knew you'd rescue me. You're excited for Zelda, you? Hell yeah! I'm more excited for them to come up with a better title. <laughs> Because if they end up calling it Zelda U, that's going to be pretty sad. What's up, dude? Not a whole lot of the Great. Oh, hello, Antius. How have you been since we last talked? I'm also the Cowardly Dog. Oh, Reckless Link, hell yeah. You're gonna let your name cross my mind in the shower. For some weird reason, I don't know why. <laughs> it's not that I wasn't doing anything stupid, I was just, I don't know. The spiteful crow. No chips, burps, and farts today, huh? I don't know. It depends. I don't have any chips here tonight. Not really. I got an oatmeal cream pie, but that's about it. <laughs> like, well, uh, there is that. Oh, I got an idea. If all I'm gonna be doing is attacking anyway, we're just gonna put this on auto fight. They call Zelda you the legend of Zelda horses don't run into trees. <laughs> that sounds good. Thank you for hearing my request about my Mario Maker level. I know you're very busy and I appreciate it. Yeah, that's cool. Your name crossed my mind in the shower. Yeah, I don't know. Alright. Come back here, Pokey. Where do you think you're going? That's the second time you've done that two streams. Man. Not surprised, really. One thing I was afraid of with, like, starting streaming was that they would all start to become the same. And in some ways, even though I've already done it, like, three or four times, I feel like I'm already starting to... <laughs> like, repeat myself. I don't know. I mean, maybe that's not such a bad thing. I don't know. I guess some, to some extent everybody does that. Did you watch the Mario Maker race? Yes, I did! Those were some crazy-ass levels. Especially that last one with Pango, what's-his-face. Like, well, dude. It's like, how could you not know? I mean, it's like, you know, they race the ten levels, but like... Doesn't he kind of have an advantage being that he made that last level? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. The information on the back of the refreshing herb reads as follows. If you catch a cold, if you're ill, or if you can't seem to heal, if you're poisoned, depressed, refreshing herb is the real deal. Depressed? You mean like homesick? Because that's pretty weird. I thought there was an inn in here somewhere. Oh, there is. It's the place with the cow. Just gotta look for the cow. Want some rest? Find a cow. 
just plain old cow.